Hey guys, now just quickly before I get into the video, uh, I want to mention the, the gameplay. I've just been playing a little bit of Counter Strike. Please laugh at me in the description. It's been a while, but it was quite funny, you know. I didn't get any racist hate this time, but, you know, they've added females to the game, which is fair enough. It's about time they added some diversity instead of the same bloke with a dishcloth on his head. Today, this is my Counter Strike career. My story. That never was. The year is 2015. All right, I've uh, I managed to save up £500 from a paper round I did a lot every morning during high school. Now, having played consoles and occasionally played DS throughout my life, it was time to become a man. Get the big boy pants on and show the world what I had. Now, as you've worked out, this in fact did not happen. Instead, I turned into a rageful, hateful, spiteful human. <laughs> All due to Counter-Strike. It really brought the worst out in me. Now, from people shouting and calling me the N-bomb, even though I'm a crispy white leprechaun, they still thought it was necessary to call me it. But I suppose a positive is, I actually did learn a different language, being sworn at so many times by angry Russians like Korva, Sukoblet, Idinahoy, Babushka. Five years later, and I still that's still imprinted on my brain. There were also annoying little five-year-old brats playing Counter Strike because they saw FaZe play it for two weeks. I had to get on the trend. Do you remember that moment? But look, Counter Strike taught me I actually how to play as a team, communicate with people, and most importantly, that winning feeling, what it was like to win a competitive game, that feeling of a tight game, whether in Silver, Master Guardian, or Global Elite, which I never was. It, it was really fun. Now, in order to make this make sense, I have to take you back my friends i bought my pc off amazon for some reason i bought three games with steam vouchers i got for my birthday from my sister and brother or something like that skyrim was number one and i downloaded as many mods as i possibly could and then got confused why it wouldn't load and wouldn't work uh, yeah it was a bit annoying when that happened and you had to fanny around with it and change all the, all the mods that you had to see what the problem was number two was dishonored i absolutely love that in games i think they're probably one of my favorites they're so much fun I, I, i'm patiently waiting here like your grandma waiting for a bus for the the next new game. The main reason I got my PC though, Counter Strike Global Offensive, a game I had watched so much and had legends about, seen legends, a game where true gamers would show their skill, write their name in the history book. I had enough of placing the blocks and getting bombed by green terrorists and jetpacking around the map in Call of Duty. My portfolio was expanding, I was growing, maturing. I bought all the Razer stuff my mum and dad would get me for Christmas and birthday and the HyperX 2 clouds or HyperX Cloud 2s, I can't remember. Now just on them actually, I still have them. I'm using them right now they're an incredible headset uh you know the, the headrest might be eroding and leaving black shit on my head and everywhere they still sound as sweet as Adele when she's rolling in the deep hello oh, baby having set up my computer the only thing that was left connecting to the wi-fi the simplest of tasks was the only thing holding me back from my stardom nah that is an incorrect statement so it turns out i actually didn't understand computers because for some reason I bought a pc that didn't have a wi-fi connector installed now i'm just going to repeat that my pc did not have a wi-fi connector 14 year old me excited for his computer I can't wait to play it, gets it already, can't connect to the bloody Wi-Fi. What the hell? I'm convinced to this day they do it on purpose just to prank people like me and just so they can get a laugh. So having a slightly larger than human brain, I, I went to PC World and bought one of them Wi-Fi booster things. Actually worked most of the time or well some some of the time so i either had incredible ping at 25 or something along 325 there was no in between it was terrible i can't explain to you the amount of times i was winning orping these noobs left right center pa, pa, pa. whilst we were winning my wi-fi would say yes mate not today good night and bosh 300 ping unplayable i get kicked for inactivity and or disconnected now this next part is a game i like to call try not to get the bad this involved me sprinting down the stairs turning the wi-fi off waiting one minute approximately turning it back on sprinting up jumping up all the steps climbing turning my pc back on in order to connect to the wi-fi now for some bloody reason if i connected to the wi-fi and the pc was on it wouldn't connect to switch it off turn it on you don't do this anymore so it wasn't a beast my computer it did what it needed to back in the day it didn't turn on in five nanoseconds it took a you know a good couple of minutes before i could play anything so i'd wait load up count strike and play to allah he was in a good mood to now if god was on my side and believe me if i told you some of the shit that's gone in my life you would believe he was not a fan of i would get back into the game after my boys using as many tactical timeouts as lord gabe would allow if not 24 hour ban and i would be fuming livid all my hard work the amount of effort and time i put into this nonsense keep in mind i was in school and for some reason my parents parents hated me and wouldn't let me drop out of school to pursue my CSGO career, which, you know, I still hold against them to this day. Now, after many traumatic times and deaths being punched and being told by my mother to stop shouting and swearing, which I thought was quite rude at the time, me and my dad came up with a solution as I would moan and tell everyone it was their fault my Counter-Strike career wasn't taking off. Pass the blame, always someone else's problem, not never ever mine. We decided to scale the house, attach it on the outside of the 
house so it would sort of go up to my room and it actually worked the past five years my wi-fi has been pretty incredible so now i have the computer the razor gear made for only the elite of the elite gamers headset wi-fi that gave kids in russia a stiffy when they saw my ping in the chat now i was ready days passed nights passed making numerous enemies predominantly those on my own team as i told them they were all the worst players i've ever seen making friends with crazy old people who were living in their basements at the age of 34 flame of fire you know who you are you sad fuck but seriously did you ever leave faking sick days meaning i could practice more and more now after a year of playing we had a solid team going considering i only had two friends in real life as we get better so who did the opposition turns out the higher the rank better the opposition which really kind of threw a spanner in the works without interesting little scoop for you if you go back on and sell your cases and your skins they're actually worth a lot of money but this is the type of guy i am you know an entrepreneur i'm a are you of a similar mind want to know how i made all this money just selling cases well buy my guy down below you will be fucking rich this is what i've been building to by this point i have to admit our lives had moved on slightly girlfriends are introduced i know which is weird even gamers can get girlfriends start to realize it is actually okay outside don't turn to ash by spending time in the sun we didn't spend as much time on our computers my career my dream had halted before it even started due to growing up and finding the vajidja now doubt enters the mind why am i not a pro yet put so many hours in so many days so much sweat blood and tears so many tellings off of swearing so much time spent banned and well what did i have to show for it i was like bruce wayne up in the mountains building my mind my body i was close i knew it all my guns were bright and colorful and expensive i was basically a professional like you see on the screens the only thing i was missing was a knife that's it i thought i knew what i was missing it had nothing to do with my skill ability i'm an elite game but the reason was i haven't got a knife i looked around and realized they were too rich I couldn't afford one. Poor ass was broke. Tried to scam some poor 12 year olds into giving me theirs. Of course that didn't work. That's my friend. Now this was a different friend. Not really a friend. Someone you know you'd say hi to in the corridors but you didn't really want to. So I thought I'd take advantage of him. Because he liked me. Could I borrow your, your, your knife please? I, I just want to have one for it. Of course he said fuck off. Called me the sleazy gremlin I think he had ever met. And I still owed him a slice of pizza from school which he reminds me about. I asked to rent it. He was not keen as he thought I would never give it back. Which was a true statement. I asked if I gave him maybe 10 quid Just let me borrow it for a little bit After using my business and negotiation tactics I learned actually selling uh, gum and sweets To students in high school He had no choice He realised once I threatened his family and his sog Alright this guy's crazy I better give him what he wants So having been given a battle scarred shit knife I paid £10 for all the time I'd come My warm up start Community map Then into deathmatch Me and my fellow brothers Fist bump each other remotely Through the discord chat Now the funny thing is I actually clearly remember this map It still haunts me One guy on our team Killed my my friend called him something he didn't like and uh well i'm all about vengeance like my boy bruce i decided to shank that fool bloodlust takes over i watched his lifeless body scream and drop like a sack of so basically it's a 3v5 we obviously lose the round and lose the following two like usually so we haven't got a great start game carries on and the score something you know we're losing by like two it's like eight six seven five i don't know i wasn't having a particularly great game however i was absolutely murdering people with it all i remember it was inferno we were the terrorists and just kept slaying these fools mid and banana no, I could not stop. I honestly thought I was going to get arrested in a moment with what I was shouting. I start to picture me holding the Gryffindor cup, shouting everyone. Everyone shouting my name, screaming it. Now, the game at this point, we were actually winning. We managed to defend CT really well, and I don't remember the score. It was something like 12 9 or, you know. We were comfortably winning. Well, comfortably, two or three. So we knew we only had a couple of rounds left, hopefully smelling that sweet, sweet promotion. Me and my boy left. We, uh, they, they take over that site. We transition, obviously, being very sneaky beak here. My knife is being flexed. My hyper beat orp is ready to experiment with analing some fools. We split up and we sneak. He manages to take someone out. I don't remember what it's called, but it's the house next to Inferno. And it they start shooting each other and I decide to push. They start shooting each other and I decide to push forward. My boy is in pit, which... I had no idea about so I turn right I see someone and no scope I'm over the moon I'm like oh my god that was insane mom get the camera mom the jubilance the excitement lasted mere milliseconds as soon my screen turned to black disconnected and I'm sure you've worked out what happened I killed my teammate and I got kicked due to damaging my own team being unable to control my emotions has led to the downfall of my CSGO career if you can even call it a career I was heartbroken no way had I fucked it that badly my life couldn't get much worse until I got on the home screen and saw what it said. Seven day ban. At this point, I was lost. Where should I go? 
what should I do? I couldn't admit to my parents the life that I promised them of Ferraris or Lamborghinis picking them up wasn't going to happen. And the hard truth is after that day, me and my friends barely played Counter-Strike. team had basically crumbled like a rich tea biscuit left out in the rain. Me and uh, one of my friends, we played. We got placed in silver. Now, if you've ever played Counter-Strike, silver ranking is probably less enjoyable than getting your legs run over by a car and being wheelchair prone for the rest of your life. And yeah, of course, the goal wasn't really. It was a bit outlandish, wasn't it, trying to become a pro? But at the same time, you know, once upon a time, I wanted to be a 360 no scope on a COD Pro. And, but maybe that's an idea for another day. In terms of gameplay, remember I was good at Counter-Strike, so apologies for what you're watching. But let me know your gaming stories down below. I look forward to hearing them. But yeah, look after yourself, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>